Cisco Firepower and HashiCorp's Terraform series. Infrastructure as Code, focusing on day zero and day one deployments. In this one, we're gonna create network objects like we did in the previous video, but we're also gonna add a new network group and collect a couple of those objects and use them in that group. So we can see here, they're pulling some data um, and they're creating uh, you know, an object, uh, leveraging some of the data that they pulled, and then they've got the ability to create that group and add those objects to the group. There's literals as well here that um, we're gonna actually create a host object on the fly as part of that group. Okay, so again, var.tf is our variables, and then we've got Terraform's tf varvs, which are, is the data supporting those variables. And um, we've seen that many, many times. Let's go to main.tf, the meat of the discussion here, and we can see we've got our provider, we've got FMC details, and then we've rammed out that first piece and we've created three objects. And then we're creating a network group object and inserting only the internal and DMZ object groups. But at the same time, we're creating this literal, that host on the fly as part of a, an object now within that object group um, or that grouping of objects. So let's go ahead and initialize Terraform. And once that's complete, let's go ahead and apply. Like always, apply is going to give us an opportunity to look at our changes, the plan, and if we're good with that, we can say, yes, we're good, we're going forward. Let's go ahead and get those objects created. And Terraform's working away, building this out. We're almost done. We should get some output here, and we did. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and check out Firepower and let's make sure that we actually are seeing the objects that we just created. Quick little refresh here. The filter of T is not a great filter, um, at least the way I'm using it because almost everything has a T, but you can see DMZ inside and then you can see that T inside, T DMZ, and there's that literal 10.10.10.10. And if we go a little bit further, there's the T outside. So that one was not included in the group. So perfect, that worked as expected. Let's go ahead and destroy. We'll use the auto approve, which means that we um, don't get an opportunity to say no here um, and stop the change. It's gonna move forward. And you can see four uh, destroyed uh, resources. So let's do a quick refresh here. And not seeing anything here. And um, here is good too. So it looks clean. Everything was uh, deleted. Now, the other thing we can do is, again, we can jump into audit and have a quick peek. I'm uh, jumping into audit a little bit more sparingly in some of these sessions, <clears throat> only because if you're watching uh, the collection of uh, videos, we've done this many times. So there's the delete, you can see a bunch of them, TDMZ, TMZ inside, and if we go in and check it out, we can see that on the left is what was, on the right is what is now, um, and that's it. 